Hello and welcome to the Mycroft AI 24th of August 2020 Sprint discussion. So um, we've uh, had a little pre-meeting uh, discussion about uh, some, some work behind the scenes uh, just in terms of reorganizing our system and now we're going to talk about the interesting bits of uh, what's going on in the current Sprint and what's going to happen in our new Sprint. Um, well, it looks like actually we've started our new sprint already. So let's go ahead and talk about that. Uh, this is going to be our um, what we use to track the next two weeks worth of work. Um, and so uh, I'll let Chris Bear take it from here. OK, so these 27 issues that have come over from Sprint 12 are everything that wasn't, uh, wasn't done was in Sprint 12 but wasn't finished. Um, so I think first I'd like to go through this and see if there's anything in here that maybe shouldn't be in the sprint. Um, and then we can add things to the sprint uh, that need to be in here and we think will be on the next two weeks. Um, so the first thing here is QT versus KV. I don't think we still need to have just more discussion on that, but I don't see that happening in the sprint. Agreed. Um, update docs for open data set. I do not know what is this. So that's um, like actually putting in the documentation exactly what's in the open data set. There's a link to the sort of work in progress um, in there. Um, but it's just been sort of adding to it bit by bit. As I, um find things okay so you're working on this now so we can leave that in here that's still something you're spending time on yeah i should just finish it off and publish it so yeah put it in there and hold me to it <laughs> although mm, yeah 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 i'm not going to be around for the next week so that you know probably maybe it should come out <laughs> Yeah, let's let's take that one out. It's not really a high priority. It, it is something we need to do, but I think there's probably some discussion that needs to happen around that as well. Uh, okay. Um, update. So this has to do with the point two and the point three version in core. Is that where are we with that whole issue? Ken, you're muted. Yeah, so leave it open for now. Uh, I'm going to gonna have to address it soon, but uh, I want to look at the uh, address in the next two weeks. Yeah, gee, I don't know. Is there any way to move it into the sprint after this one? Yeah. Let's do that on this ticket. Okay. Ah, this thing. Yeah, I should probably do this. Um, the, the, the thing I got stuck on before is I could not find our uh, the graphic we were using for the website being down. So I didn't, I, I couldn't figure out how we did it before. So that's what stopped me before. I should probably just, either we need to create a new graphic so I can put it up or I need to find it. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't uh, need to I be can canceled. point you to the actual graphic. Um, yeah, it's on that server. It's just not in WordPress so that if WordPress ever goes down, then it can still show up. As in, if WordPress goes down, but the server doesn't, then it will still display. Okay. Um, yeah, you get with me after this and we'll, if I can get all that figured out, then I can, I can, we can finish this task. That's all it's been waiting on. Um, this is not going to get done in the next two weeks. Uh, this was in review in the last sprint, so um, hopefully we'll continue. We'll get, we'll get that finished. Uh, audio chamber acoustic test. Derek? Uh, yeah, that's 
That's mostly done. Well, I, I maybe need to wrap up a few things. But, um, okay, but you should finish it in the next two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Right. So to be clear, we're not necessarily talking about the status of any of these items, except to ask the question: Will it be finished in the next two weeks? Yeah. Right. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, I don't see me getting to this in the next two weeks. Or matter does, does the Mattermost upgrade? Is there something critical in here that I need to do, or is this just something we just need needs to be on the? Uh, I think we do need to do that actually. Um, yeah, I am fairly sure things are going to break if we don't update. Um, particularly um, if people are using the Android um application uh throws up an error um saying that there's going to be compatibility issues and potentially severe bugs like we're moving out of supported release territory do we have until october to do this or should we do it or we already have a problem with timing um no, I think we're I think we're running five eleven. Yeah, so five eleven is the previous ESR. So, so the people. current ESR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well uh can't be too far behind. I upgraded this about a year ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think we were just on the previous ESR, so it would have expired you know, a couple of months ago, like April. Okay. No, it hasn't been that long, surely. Anyway. The, their support cycles are uh, pretty short. It looks like they only support things for about a year. So. Okay. <coughs> so keep up with it, I suppose. Yeah. What about somebody, a DevOps person? Um, <laughs> fix last pass credential access. Um, uh, I know email from Steve uh, today uh, saying that he still had access to this. Is this so? We should probably go ahead and um, get this cleaned up in this sprint. I would think it shouldn't be that hard to do. Uh, I talked with Steve uh, Friday last week. Uh, uh, Red. Um, I talked to Steve uh, last week, and he said that he'll have everything off as of Monday. This so it should be good to shut down the Gmail and everything else before that stuff across the desk. Okay. So that should be done this week or in this next sprint. Uh, Derek, will you have an OTC device built in the next couple of weeks for Ken? Yes. All right. And you'll have Parts to hey, Josh do we for... do we still have an, the intern? No, I was gonna. Well, not really. I was gonna give you guys an update on that. Um, he's available, but very limited hours. So, effectively, not much. So I was just gonna. I kind of sick. See, see what we, you know, see how it goes. But I need to talk to talk to you guys if you want to keep them on payroll or not. He started the school year, I assume. Yeah, yeah, started today. I would I would rather to spend intern wages making these things than spending your wages making these things, Derek. So and I also think that we have an basically an unlimited appetite for these prototypes. So we should have somebody in at least half time just making prototypes. It's not like we're not going to use it. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, the, in the case of the, the pins, it's essentially done. Um, I need to, I, I should be shipping it tomorrow. Um, but yeah, making more, that's, that's a, something we should discuss. Yeah, I mean, we should, we should have several on the shelf ready to go in case we have a customer, in case we have, you know, some other needs. So it's not, you know, we're not behind the eight ball. Um, and then just 
you know, let's make sure that we fully account for the cost of each one. And, and if we do send them out, we recover the, we recover them. So if they're 1200 bucks each, then when people want a demo unit for whatever an enterprise engagement, um, if they don't, you know, if they want one, they're 1200. If they, you know, if they can't cough up $1,200 then they're probably not an enterprise customer anyway. Right. Okay. Well, I think at least for a week or two until Charlie gets kind of settled in with things, he's not going to be available much. So we might need to look at another option or might just, just, yeah, maybe we should just have a separate meeting about, about this. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Um, status service documentation. What's the status of that, Mr. Gesling? Uh, it's proposed still. We haven't really started work on it, so we could probably get this out of the sprint, you think? Oh, I'm not muted. Great. Um, uh, the, so your um, case has gone on the forums for discussion, um, and there's the uh, process status stuff already in the documentation. So um, I do want to put this, the uh, overview of the status service into the documentation as well, um, which I can do very quickly right now. Okay, so we'll leave that in there. Uh, an alpha image for both the QT and QB Mark II images. Are you able to do that? Yeah. yeah. Are you are you happy for the QB image to go out already? I didn't know if we wanted to get anything else in there before we release it to the community. Um, the only thing perhaps would be the, um, that Spotify task, get the Spotify yeah. figured out. So I'll do that before we. So to be clear, these are images for the PyCroft, right? Uh, yeah. The images for people who've built their own Mark II prototype. Oh, okay. So including the, um, the re speaker array and all that? Yeah. Um, I mean, you could use them, people can take them and tweak them for their own hardware and stuff, but I, I don't want to put any extra effort in to make them, you know, PyCroft configurable, all right, that sort right. of stuff. They're really, they're really intended to be, this is what uh, we're using internally, and there's no reason that we can't share them out. So, um, yeah. so my question is, them, yeah. yeah, where I was going with the question is, what, what product does this belong under? So it would be under the Mark II product. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Precise model validation tool. Isn't Can we open that ticket up real quick, Chris? Yeah, it's over here on the side. Oh, uh, moving to the next sprint. This is basically just the uh, the Voight comp tests for uh, precise and okay. the model. Uh, looks like this is a PR for some of the status stuff. So we just need to get that over the goal line. That's relying on the status stuff. Okay. And this is part of status stuff too? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So these next several here are all uh, the wakeboard collection uh, epic. And I just moved all those from the sprint we had uh, defined. Um, for this into this sprint uh, and put them all in this epic. So um, I can pretty confidently say that that's going to keep me busy for the next two weeks. Um, and hopefully I'll get more than this done because a lot of this stuff is just applying our schema discussions to things I've already done. <laughs> um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's one of my main things to get done in the sprint is this first part of the wake world collection process. 
Right. So that'll get us um, the back end, the database and that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. We should probably have a meeting during this sprint to start planning for the next sprint in terms of the UI and the objectives in terms of the tagging system. Right? So we can start the next sprint. sprint. Yeah. Yeah. So can we add a, add a task to this sprint to have a meeting to discuss the UI and, and the, uh, yeah, and what are our first targets in terms of tagging and that sort of thing. And um, we'll probably have a bunch of other tickets come out of that that we can then put into the next sprint. So that should be you know, basically open to all of us. Uh, so let's wait until Tiz gets back and you know, Derek should be at that one and, and all that. So. Okay, so I can schedule that. I'll assign this to me, and it should be not. Which are you out this week, Chris, or are you out next week? This week, okay. So I'll schedule it for uh, sometime next week. Yeah, sometime uh, after, like not Monday next week, but after Monday next week. Okay. Okay, so I guess the next question then is, um, do we all have enough to do in this sprint to keep us busy for the next two weeks? I would say in my case, the answer is yes. <laughs> um, so I would throw that over to, I guess we can start with Gez. Um, I guess you only have one week <laughs> to do uh, the work in the sprint. So you have enough in here to keep you Busy for the week, do you think, or? Damn mute button. Um, turn it back there. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to be doing, like, I don't know, maybe I should add a, an item that's like, do the 20.2008 release. Yeah, I was just going to suggest that. Um, even though it's a separate, if we're kind of now thinking of this Microsoft Sprint 13 as being the overarching defining feature. Um, but I mean, 2008, the, the 20.8 um, Sprint will be in our fifth Sprint until it's finished. So. Okay, so I will move then all of the 2008 issues in that Sprint, I'll move them into this Sprint and um, assign them to you if they aren't already. Do we have a- You probably just need the here? finished and unfinished ones, but yeah. Do we have a task in here for the actual release or are we, this is... Uh, no. Well, no, well, because it was being tracked as a sprint, if everything was done, then it would be uh, okay. But I think, but yeah, no, I, we definitely should well, have yeah, an it, item for the release itself. Yeah, so one of the things is I, I just had um, the actual checklist, which is, you know, in a separate document as a as an item, but obviously the, the checklist itself is like, you know, all of the things that need to happen. Um, so uh, I'll pull those out into like the remaining tasks and, and make them separate items so that you can see exactly what has to happen. Okay. In case I get eaten by a crocodile, for example. Or, or a dingo. <laughs> yeah, or a dingo. Okay, I'll let you do that, and I'll go ahead after this meeting. I'll move these all these down. So between 2008 and um, these other smaller things here, you're gonna be good for the sprint. You think? Yeah. All right. Uh, Mr. Ken. You don't have any uh, tasks for this sprint. Where, <laughs> um, where are your tasks and how can we move them in here? 
Well, I just looked that up while you were talking. Why don't you, uh, to make life easy, why don't you just tie me into uh, PREC-69, put that in the sprint. That's the, uh, that's the main task or the parent task for all of the stuff I'm working on. So instead of bringing over five to eight tickets, just bring that over. Uh, PREC-69. And then when you click on that, that'll that'll link to all the subtasks tickets. But is the challenge then, you know, we're not going to be able to finish precise 69 at the end of this two weeks, right? Uh, I think my stuff on 69 will be done. And, you know, short of the new data schema uh, being uh, stood up. And if uh, I get done with what's on 69 and the schema's blocking me, I'll move into the middle ticket. If you, I, I can tell you what that one is too. Um, we were kind of working from the two ends into the middle. I don't see that. The one that I'll move on to after 69 will be, well, <laughs> it's a user community tagging of captured data which is what we have our meeting for. So um, I'm not blocked. I mean, uh, I'll have most of this stuff done by next week, um, certainly. And I have other things I can work on, but that particular one is uh, PREC 68. You wanna move that over into here? Uh, 69 is in progress and 68 will be to do. Maybe it doesn't touch. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little messy because I don't have delete privileges. So if I create a ticket and and, and then I want to break it into sub-tickets, I have them both. I don't um, see a 69. PREC-69. Some kind of that? filter on it. I think you have to clear your filters. Yeah, uh, you're probably filtering on Mycroft, Project Mycroft instead of Precise. I'm in the Precise. No, but it's a, like it's it's showing you that um, not all issues are visible, or is that just the search? It's still showing. Yeah. All right. Um, I, I, I just <laughs> I literally just go to slash browse slash. Yeah, I would just put any ticket. Yeah, and just type it in. <laughs> Take it back to the, yeah. <laughs> Got a little bit last in. Uh, slash browse, slash tag. There you go. So just move that guy into that sprint and you're good to go because this is all what I'm working on. Doesn't want to let me add it to a sprint. Maybe that's it's a, is it a sub, it's a subtask. That's why. Uh, okay. <laughs> you can move sixty uh, over if you want. Sixty is kind of like uh, the main ticket that covers the three sub tickets or three sub projects. What if we turn precise sixty this this parent thing into an epic? Would it then would the subtask then automatically become top? That sounds nice. <laughs> if magic happens. Will, will it allow you to add 60, Chris? Yeah, 60's in there. All right, cool. So we're good. All right, will you finish? So the tagging actually wouldn't be included in the sprint. So we may need to break, break this out a little bit. Yeah, well, tagging is what we're going to talk about next week. You're working on basically 67. I'm working on 69. And 68 is where we meet in the middle when you're done and I'm done. Okay. But we don't know what that is yet because we're going to meet and describe, discuss that next week. Um, okay, I think what I'll do then is I'll create... I'll make this an epic instead of a task. And then if you, um, Ken, would take, um, so it looks like, so 
I'm a little confused. Part of this, I have an epic for data collection, which is what we're working on now. Should I, I think of the, the second epic would be tagging. All the well, things so, so I don't know how you want to define it, but what this is, is this is phase one of the precise goals and roadmaps of which it has three subtasks, which is capturing the data from the devices, tagging of that data, and then integrating that into new model creation. Uh, you can break it up however you want. Okay, I mean, I could rename the epic to be collection and tagging, if that makes more sense, if it's all. Kind of flexible. The same. Okay. All right, one of the other, I'll, I'll move this stuff around um, so that we're all, work, so we're, you and I basically, it's, 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 we're working on the same thing, just on different ends of it, so we'll just. Yeah, yeah, and, and then, you know, uh, after next week, we'll probably be working in the middle together. Yeah, probably. All right, and Mr. Derek, do you have, Let me get back to our sprint here. Oops, wrong one. Okay. There's a handful yep. of Mark II prototype things in here. Do you have enough in here yourself or do you have more to do? Yeah, yeah, I have enough. I put it in the first, uh, the first full assembled or first full assembly of the dev kit SJ201 design back on the plate. So that's, uh, and I do have, I got the Ultimaker 3D printer now. Um, I, we bought another 3D printer, the, the FDM style to, to do this design, make sure that it'll print on those. Not only can Kevin then make his own prototypes, but then, you know, eventually the community can as well. So, that's um, I guess achievable in the next two weeks to have the first draft of, of that printed. And uh, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, by the end of the week, we might have boards, actually working boards here too. So the, uh, yeah, between that and the rest of the things, I should, that was the new, kind of the new thing. I should have enough to keep me busy. Plus, I, I'm expecting stuff from, uh, from our medium next week on, on the tagging UI. All right, so one thing I wanna make sure we get out of the sprint planning going forward is after we plan the sprint, every task in this sprint should have somebody assigned to it. Um, so that way we know how much work we're expected to do. I think we're there. So yeah, I will list Michael, are you happy with the contents of the sprint? <coughs> yeah, this looks good. Okay. And I will start it. Actually, you know what? I'll start it after this meeting. I want to move the, the core 2008 stuff into that and before I start it. So. Yeah. Um, and the other changes we talked about, like renaming the hardware uh, project to the Mark II project and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. So by the by the end of today, I'll have the sprint started. <laughs> Just an administrative note real quick before we move on. Did I hear that we're actually paying our interns? Yes. <laughs> We've yes. always paid our Yeah, we always. We're not equal. We always get, we always pay people a living wage. Like we won't, we won't take advantage of people whether they're in the United States or outside the United States. Well. We, we, have, plenty yeah. of, we have plenty of money to treat people ethically. Right, but you can also get on the local university's program and they can often use a summer internship to gain credits. And yeah, we've been with a couple of those programs through the uh, Wilcats up at the K Small Business Development Center where they'd assigned some master's level students to help us with some business planning stuff. And the outcome has always been not tremendously useful. Um, we find it's a lot easier. I'm happy to have university students in and we're not going to make them rich, but we, we do pay enough money that they can pay their bills. Um, we're, 
Mycroft is not hurting for money. Um, you know, we we want to be generous where we can um, because there may come a time when we can't be. So, um, so yeah. Uh, but I I hear you. I know that for some people it would be a valuable experience, and that they they are willing to work for free. But you know, if we can find somebody who's got that level of enthusiasm, imagine how much more enthusiastic they'll be when they get paid. Yeah, and we can find them uh, fairly quickly. Like when I found Charlie, it was, um, you know, I posted on a KU job board in engineering and I had applicants the same day. Um, now, Charlie was good because he knew how to do everything like solder and, you know, he was familiar with electronics and all that stuff. So, you know, there is some screening to be done, but if we want to get another a different intern if charlie doesn't have the time um because of other obligations he's just a senior his senior year um we should be able to find another intern fairly quickly if that's the route we want to go now our competition uh has been known to work interns for free to make people cry at their desk to cry at their employees into unhealthy situations to you know create working conditions that are inhumane to outsource their manufacturing to places that have no environmental regulations and very little labor law and to exploit those people to bring ultra low prices to their customers but we're not that company not hey, uh, yet right now <laughs> <laughs> but we're working on it <laughs> So, all right, so we've got our sprint plan for the next week. Is there any other uh, issues that people would like to discuss? Just a call out to the community. If you're not running dev, please do so for the cut for the next couple of weeks. Um, well, for the next week, just to catch any 2008 bugs. Um, there shouldn't be any, but there should never be any bugs. Um, Anyway, You're the first uh, software developer I've ever heard say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I might. Uh, I've, I've done the draft release notes already, so I might post those up in the chat so that people can see what's coming along. Um, but there, yeah, not too many breaking changes, so everything should continue working smoothly. All right, great, and I. I believe Derek alluded to this, but we are anticipating getting our second spin of the SJ201 boards in today, assuming they don't get lost in the mail like the last one. Uh, and uh, mm -hmm. so that'll be, that'll be exciting. Uh, yeah, incidentally, the, the, the last one did show up today. <laughs> so, but, you know, we, we already talked about that they, there were other problems with the board. So it did show up. Those mail sorting machines weren't necessary after all. <laughs> well, actually, it was the USPS that came through. I think it was uh, it got delivered to the wrong address, and some kind Samaritan uh, dropped it in the mail, uh, the US mail for us. That's very nice. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, then uh, we can keep it short and sweet today, and uh, we will talk again on Wednesday. Okay. See everybody on Wednesday. See you all next Thanks, week. Thanks, folks. Thanks for the hard work. Enjoy your walkabout. Thanks.